the, one of the threads I see across all of this for me is the difference between preparation and planning. And this is a distinction that has really formed for me recently, probably about over the course of the last six months, I've started to see a real kind of like line in the sand between these two things. Now, these are this is language and this is labeling and this is my stuff. So if it were, just like we were saying about before, about all of the, you know, all that stuff out there. And, you know, if, if something works for you, it works for you. And like you do you like that's awesome. So like if this doesn't work, drop it. And if it does, brilliant. Right. Planning to me feels like um, I'm trying to control things in the future so that they go a certain way so that I feel a certain way now we can kind of I guess try and do that to some extent but we live in the real world right things are moving and shifting all the time particularly with international travel particularly with sober dating particularly like we don't we can't no, we might like try and make sure that we're only dating guys or girls or women that are alcohol free or like whatever it might be. We're like try and like get all of our ducks in a row <laughs> and then we we get there and it's like, you know, it's not right. It's not it's not as we expected it. And suddenly we're thrown into free fall because all of our planning is thrown out the window. So to me, there's this kind of this feeling of like I want it to go a certain way, which is and this is very natural. It's a very natural pull. So planning preparation is very different to me. Preparation is when I know that it's something that I want to do or something that I've got to do for work or whatever it might be. When it's, uh, you know, once I've got, I've got that covered, then there may be certain things I want to do in order to get myself ready for this, right? So it might be um, buy my favorite alcohol-free drinks or it might be make sure that, um, you know, I've got someone going to the festival with me that knows what's going on for me. Yeah, who's my kind of like buddy who's there with me. It might be, I don't know, it's just kind of like things that make sense because we kind of know that however much the things might shift in the future, it's just going to be helpful. It's just like common sense. It's just like something that seems really, really useful. Um, but the reason that we do that for me is that underneath all of this is the knowledge that we're going to be okay. You know, we, we've got reality on our side. We're built for connection and, com and community and being there with people. And, you know, music festivals are really fun. International travel is really fun, yeah? Sober dating can be absolutely beautiful, yeah? It's, we've got that going for us. Often, much like the athlete that spends six months planning and then they get in like, and preparing and all the rest, and then they get to the actual race, the gun goes off, what decides whether they have the best race of their life has got fuck all, excuse my French, to do with how much planning and everything they did. It's then a this game. It's how much thinking have I got in my mind at the time. And as I now see things, whatever it is that comes up in life, whether it's staying calm in an airport, whether it's being able to like stay in ourselves and ask questions and get curious about that person we're meeting for the first time, whether it's, and I've done seven day music festivals, you know, um, and I and I do do these things quite frequently, whether it's whether it's that the the thing that really helps us is, is is just being there in the moment. Yeah. And knowing that we can choose again at any point, you know, so we're two days in and we've had a slightly wonky something's gone on in the in the festival or whatever it is, something through us. We met some idiot who lipped off or something like, you know, you can choose again. That doesn't mean that day three and day four are going to be shit. Right. It's. It's that ebb and the flow of noticing that, like, that you got it, you're going to be all right. Like, that's the biggest thing to me. And that mm. is all about preparation. It's not about control, it's about trust. And what you're trusting in is that thing that's got your back, that's, that's guiding you. And when you notice you've got caught up in a thought storm about, oh my goodness, this might happen and that might happen. That's okay. Like, you know, because human don't, it's, it's fine. We often use analogies like the snow globe being shaken up or whatever it is, you know, it's like, it's okay. Like me and Ellie, you know, believe it or not, at times we still get nervous about stuff, right? It's like, it's up, it's up. It's, it's not giving us information about the thing that's coming. We know we're going to have what we need when we get there. Yeah, it's going to come to us. The same is true for you. The same is true for you. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of other stuff we could riff on, but that's the big, big thing to me that stands out as being the most impactful insight that I've had in this area, in my life anyway.